it's the shirt, the, the shirt? What? <laughs> it's not really the shirt. It's the hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a quick video on some of my favorite beauty products that I've been using, makeup products. If I have two or three favorites that I'm constantly reaching for, why do I need all the other ones? I've already tested them out and I don't reach for them as much, so why keep them? So I've been passing on a lot of stuff. I've also been playing around with the Poshmark app and that's really fun because there's a lot of makeup on there that people are selling and that are that's very, very gently used or not used at all or just swatched. And so that's a great place to find new items that you don't wanna spend full price for. So. A lot of stuff that I have purchased because of my purchasing habits um, and when I worked at Ulta, I am able to share them with someone else who would want them instead of just throwing them out. So first of all, we're going to go by order of applications. So we'll start with primers. So the one primer or one of the primer type items that I use on... A regular basis I wouldn't say every day because it's it's uh, I don't like to fill my pores every day but on the weekends if I'm going out and I'm gonna be out for a while and I want a nice smooth finish I use the NYX pore filler you know I just kind of push it into my pores I don't rub it all over my face just where I have pores which are visible which is right here on my cheek area and right here in between my eyebrows I do not have a drugstore primer that I like I've tried some drugstore primers and they were okay but nothing special to me so I'm, I'm trying to show you one of each like drugstore and high-end so but the for, for primers the only primers I really like are the Urban Decay Optical Illusion complexion primer this is new so I've been using this for about a month it's new to me and it's the like the pinkish one I love this this is really does create a very smooth finish it's very you know, blurring on your pores and all that. I love it. And then the Too Faced Hangover Hangover Face Primer. It's really moisturizing for times when my face starts getting dry, like around this time of year, winter. I get drier on my nose and on my chin, and it's a pain in the butt. So I don't want to use a real drying primer, so I like to use this for those times. And this for, like, weekends and stuff like that when I want it to be, like, flawless. After all these years I've been wearing makeup and using concealer, my very top favorite, I actually found my holy grail of concealers, and I'm sure this is the same for some of you out there, but it's the Tarte Shape Tape. This one's in medium. That's the shade I use. This is magic for my dark circles, which can be hereditary for me, but also if I don't have enough sleep. I do drink plenty of water. I do try and get enough sleep, but... This is magic. It, it really does do wonders for under the eye. I did not use this today because I, I wanted to test out my Kat Von D again, which is no comparison, I don't think, to this. The Kat Von D is a little more cakier looking. It's just more makeup-y looking. This is more natural, but really full coverage. And then the drugstore um, side is the Maybelline Fit Me concealer, and I use the color Sand. So I use medium in this and sand in this. Sometimes I use them together. I'll put this on and then I'll do my foundation and then I'll put this on for brightening, you know, in that little area there. My top color correctors are the LA Girl Conceal Pro Conceal in the orange color. This is really good for the price. It's like a couple bucks and it's really pigmented. Smashbox Color Correcting Stick. That works really well and it's really convenient to just kind of draw right where that dark spot is in here get it pinpointed in that area and then also the MAC Studio Conceal and Correct Duo. This side, the orange side, I love it. Uh, this is in the shade Burnt Coral and Rich Yellow. For foundations, I have narrowed it down to five, six? That's horrible. But these are like my favorites. Like one of every day I'm using one of these or sometimes a mixture of two of them and they are my favorites they've been my favorites for at least a year or two and that I and I've been sticking to them I'll try different foundations here and there when something new comes out or I'll dig something else out of my drawer to try it out again but I always go to these one of my drugstore favorites is the matte and poreless it's 
a lot of it depends on my shade too, like being able to find my shade or something that's very close to my shade of skin color. This is pretty good. This is in 310 Sun Beige. I like the formula. It's not as full coverage as I like because I do like full coverage, but it's pretty good. It's not bad. And then another drugstore that I love is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin. This one is in the shade Caramel 105. This is, it gives your face such a luminous, glowy, sun glowy finish that no matter what, no matter how tired I look or no matter how dull my skin is that day, when I put this on, it's like airbrushed. It's really pretty. I love the formula of this. Another drugstore is the Infallible Pro Matte. This is in Caramel Beige 108. This is really good to mix with some of the more wet foundations or even like a higher end wet foundation to mix this with it so that it stays a little better, has a little more staying power, but I also like the color of this because sometimes it's got like a yellowy, a yellowish undertone, which I have, and I don't want like pink undertones because I don't want a red face. Born This Way by Too Faced, this one is in Golden. I love this, this is really close to my skin tone. It does look like your skin, but better, and I really do like that. It, you can build it up, you can leave it just at one layer and it looks nice and natural, or you can build it up for a more finished, like full coverage look. I love that. And then the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. This does not have a color on it. Oh, Tan Sand. So I love this. It's very thick. So I like to either mix it or spritz my face with MAC Plus to kind of lighten it out when I brush it on with my brush or my beauty blender. But I haven't used this in like a year and I took it back out and tried it again and it was like magic. I really loved the way that my face looked that day. It looked really put together. The only thing I didn't like was maybe six to eight hours later, it started breaking apart, you know, on my forehead and around my nose. I, when I got real close in the mirror, I could see it. But from far away, it still looked like picture perfect. It was beautiful. But up close, you know, you notice those little spots and it kind of irks you. But it's nothing that a little blending with your finger would um, help, but this is beautiful. I love this. And then the last one, which is my ultimate favorite out of all these, is the Lorac Porefection Foundation, and this is in the color PR9 Tan. This is, I love it. This is as close to my skin tone as I've ever found something to be. Aside from the, the other one, what is the other one? The Milani Conceal and Perfect. There was one that was exactly like my skin tone, and then the other one was the Better Skin something by Maybelline? I think I'm picturing it in my head, but I can't think of the name of it. But yeah, two uh, drugstore versions that were really close to my skin tone. But the Lorac, this is beautiful. It is really, really close to my skin tone and it's very full coverage and I love that about it. So this is my weekend foundation. Okay, powder. I only grabbed a pressed powder. So my very top favorite pressed powder of all time is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Powder Makeup. This one is in Ivory Beige. I use this under my eyes. And then I have another one that's in Tawny, which I use on my face with a brush. And then I have another one that's in, oh, what is the name of it? Sand Beige, I think, which is more of a neutral tone. And I use that around my face too in the winters when I'm a little lighter and stuff like that. But I love the coverage. This, I like to use this under my eyes when I'm finished with everything and I just kind of dab a little bit of this under my eyes because it's very full coverage. It's like, you could use this as foundation on its own, but I love it. It is a little pricey. I think it's like $42 or something, but I these last like years and years. I don't know. I think this was the first one that I ever purchased and look how much is still left. And I use this all the time, like every other day I'm using this. So it lasts a long time, it goes a long way. Okay, now, how about, how about blush? Okay, I picked two that are my favorites. The MAC Painted Canyon. This was on clearance and I purchased it from the web, their website, from the MAC website. 
It does look like it's got a little shimmer to it, but it doesn't really show up on the cheeks. It's just a nice neutral-ish type of pink. It looks pinker in the camera than it does in person. It's more like a coral. But I love this for every day. And then weekends, I like to use the Makeup Geek. This one is a little bit brighter. It's in XOXO and it's much more pink and it's very pigmented. So this is the Makeup Geek one. It's, it's more pink, yeah, than coral, but it is very pigmented. Like a little goes a long way. You just dab your brush in it and it's on the cheeks and you're, oh my gosh, I put too much. So it's, I like that about it because you don't have to use very much. Um, eyeliners, my favorite eyeliners. Let me dig them out. Oh, and all my eyeliners are all high end. I didn't grab a drugstore one, but I can't help it. I'm not going to lie and pull something out that I don't really like. So these are my favorite drugstore eyeliner. These are my favorite high end eyeliners. It's the Stila Stay All Day, and I, as you can see a theme here, that I love the felt tip eyeliners and the Kat Von D tattoo ink, ink liner. These are my two favorites. They are very, very similar. The tip is super similar. The price is pretty close. I just, I can't decide on one. I love them both. They're so good for a winged eyeliner when I want to do a winged eyeliner. And then the other eyeliner that I love is the Marc Jacobs Highliner. Yeah, Highliner Gel Crayon. This one's just in black, but it's the twist up top and this stays put in your waterline forever. When you take your makeup off at the end of the night, it's the only thing still there and it's a bugger to try and get off with makeup wipes and soap and stuff like that. So it does stay put, but that's why I like it. If I wouldn't want, wanted one that didn't, then uh, what's the point in putting it on? So that's it for eyeliners. And then we have mascaras. Of course, the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. This is, oh, this has always been a favorite of mine for years, for a long time. This, it's really black, it's really, it's a wet formula, but I like using this at the very end. So after I put like a primer on and then my mascara, then I like to use this at the very end to kind of top my, ma my lashes. I like to use that to top my lashes after the primer and the regular mascara. This is the primer I like to use. It's the Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara, which is really light. So when you put it on, it's not like a thick coat of mascara. It's just a very uh, thin, easy formula, and I like to use this as a primer. So I'll put this on first, and then I will put my very favorite mascara on of all time, which is the Superhero by It Cosmetics. And this is magic. This is like false lashes type of lashes look. It's a, there's another one that's a drugstore that I have found that is very similar to this effect. It is the Essence Lash Princess. It's the one that I believe is in, has the green accent on the tube, like two or three dollars. And you use it and then you close it up and then you wait like a couple weeks or something like that. And then after it's gotten the air into it or something, it, it is just like this. It makes your lashes look really long. So that would be a dupe or that would be something that's similar that's drugstore, but I love this. So those three mascaras together are amazing. Almost done, guys. Lip products and face sprays. Every day, no matter what, I put one of these on, which is the Wet n Wild Mega Slicks Balm Stain. And this, I'm getting ready, I'm putting my face makeup on, and I have one of these on. So it's like a balm, like a lip balm, but it also has a tint of color. So. Once I put it on and I do all my makeup, I'm finished with my makeup, I wipe it off and it leaves a stain. And then that's like my primer. I put whatever lip product I want on top of that. So it's kind of moisturizing my lips, but it's also leaving a stain. So whenever my lip product wears off, if it does, which it always does, um, I'll still have a stain there. And then I can just put lip balm or whatever, you know, later. So I do that and then my ultimate favorite of all time, I have it on today, is the ColourPop Ultra Metallic, and this is in three-way. This is my favorite. It's my go-to every weekend I'm putting it on. For New Year's I wore it, for Christmas I wore it last year. I mean, I'm always finding myself reaching for this. 
like the bottle is all worn out because I'm always carrying it with me and putting it on and everything. So I love that. A new one that I've tried recently is the Dose of Colors. This is my first Dose of Colors lipstick, actually, and this is in Mocha, and it is such a pretty neutral color. I love this. It's like the perfect nude for my skin tone. So if you have my skin tone, then you should try that because it's amazing, especially with some gloss over it. The other two items that I always love and I'm obsessed with and I kind of want to start a collection of them is the MAC lip glasses. These are two of my favorite. One of them is in Spite. I also have Spice, which I love, but it's a very nice neutral gloss. And then this one is in Oh Baby. It's a little glittery, it's brownish, it's really pretty on the lips, whether it's alone or over something else. Last but not least, we have face sprays. So the two face sprays that I have chosen, one's drugstore, one's high end. The drugstore, which is my favorite, is the L'Oreal Infallible. Uh, makeup extending setting spray. I love this. I've purchased this probably Five or six times so and I, I still have two of them in my drawer now So I'm always I always have one of these on hand and the other one that is the higher end is the uh, Urban Decay all-nighter makeup setting spray of course I tried the travel size first and then I liked it So I ended up getting the larger size, but sometimes I feel like this works better so this might extend your makeup a little bit but then this one kind of like sticks it on like to your I don't know I just feel like sometimes this makes your makeup last longer and this just kind of sets it at the moment and that's it I don't know how to describe it but I find myself using this more Sorry, Urban Decay. <laughs> so that's my video um hopefully I won't have to do a lot of editing to this editing all my ums and oh my god and my weird faces but oh well I don't care and you don't care either do you so that's those are all my favorites uh if you want me to do a video about anything else like my favorite makeup brushes or my favorite perfumes or anything you know like face care products shampoo products whatever just let me know and I'll try and accommodate so I have a couple weeks off before uh I go back to work in January, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope it wasn't too long and drawn out. Leave your comments below, and I will see you soon. Bye.